Let's work on one way example with integration by parts where we're trying to integrate a logarithmic function. Something like this we did in class where we integrate logarithm of x. In this case, we have a function inside of the logarithm. We know that to integrate logarithmic function, we need to use integration by parts. But many students did notice that it gets easier if you first use u substitution to get a function in terms of u versus in terms of 4x plus 9, ln u. So basically, u substitution sometimes is used to rewrite complicated function in a more comfortable, simple way. Indeed, let's do that. If u is 4x plus 9, then du is 4 dx. We need dx, but we have 4 dx. Let's solve for dx. Then dx ends up to be 1 quarter du. This is u substitution. So the integral becomes 1 quarter ln of u du. Again, let's make it very clear. This is u substitution which we performed before doing integration by parts. Now we're working with a new integral 1 quarter ln integral of ln u du. Because integration by parts also uses u as a variable, just because of the notation. Not all countries do that using u variable. Let's rename it into some kind of other variable, say t dt. Uh, this is what we call a dummy variable. You will, use it, you will see it a lot in computer science and other classes in mathematics. You can call this variable any way you want if you are consistent. So you can do ln j dj, which is funny, ln o do, I saw that one book, and so on. ln t dt is good. Just maybe make a note that you rewrote u to be t. Now we're performing integration by parts. And as you remember, li at, li at, let me put it down for the integration by parts side, li at tells you to choose u, whatever comes first in order. That's just a suggestion, it's not a theorem or a proof for a property. Logarithmic function is here, so we will choose this to be u. Everything else is a leftover, it doesn't have a choice, it will be called dv. And that's just uh, 1, 1 dt is dv. Let's write it down. Let u b ln and we call it t then du is 1 over t dt that's one side one part of the integration by parts dv end up to be whatever is there which is 1 dt 1 dt well integral of 1 is just t plus c but we do not write c until the end now you either remember the formula which is u times v minus integral v du or you remember it visually u times v minus v integral of v du cross product and bottom product that is the formula of integration by parts integral of u dv equals that means that our previous integral becomes ln t times t minus integral t times 1 over t dt. As you can see, integration by parts breaks the original integral into two parts. The first part is already integrated. I'll rewrite it just to look nicer, uh, t ln t. The second part can be simplified. It will be integral of 1 dt. How do we know we can cancel out t and 1 over t? What if t is 0? Well, since we started with logarithmic function, because we have ln t, then in order for ln t to exist, t should be positive, because logarithmic function does not exist for 0 and negative inputs. Finally, the answer becomes t ln t minus t plus c. That could be the final answer, but we did start with the different variable called x. So let's go back to x notation. To do that, we need to remember what did we do at the first place. So we renamed uh, u to be some random variable t. But before that, u was chosen to be 4x plus 9. So everywhere you see t, you should plug for x plus 9. One more thing I wanted to mention. 
Did you ever notice we dropped this one quarter? Well, we should not. I just wanted to show you how to integrate this integral, but either at the very end multiply by one quarter or put it everywhere in front of those calculations. Let me put it everywhere. Now, sometimes I feel like to do it at the very end and multiply everything by one quarter. Just don't forget. Now, t, which is u, which is 4x plus 9, now will be inside of this answer. Let's literally substitute it back. We will have 1 quarter, t is 4x plus 9, ln of 4x plus 9, minus 1 quarter. I'm distributing 1 quarter everywhere. 4x plus 9 plus c. Now, this is a good final answer. However, if you see a different answer in your solutions, let me tell you how it was obtained. First of all, we can factor out a repetitive part, which is 1 quarter of 4x plus 9, 1 quarter of 4x plus 9. Let's do that. We're factoring out. 1 quarter 4x plus 9 brackets ln 4x plus 9 minus 1 plus c. Does that make sense? I hope it does. Now, what they also did, they distributed 1 quarter inside of the blue part. So 4x over 4 gives you x, 9 gives you 9 quarters, then it is ln 4x plus 9 minus 1 plus c. This is a very good final answer. However, there is one more thing you might notice that could be done. As you remember, c collects all the constants. So actually, this minus one piece could be submerged into the uh, C. Okay, I just checked the final answer. I can tell you that this is the good one. The one we had originally is a good one as well. From the very first green answer they actually could do this way. And this is what I want to explain, how C collects constants. From this answer in the purple box, for you to understand that when we have this, well, let's distribute one quarter right away. So 4x over 4 becomes x plus 9 quarters times ln 4x plus 9, and we did not factor out 4x plus 9. Minus, instead we distributed one quarter into 4x plus 9. 4x over 4 is just x. And then we will have minus 9 quarter plus c. So this is where c swallows negative 9 quarters. Because c represents all possible coefficients and constants, which are results from the integration. Thus... You can just put C at the very end. Basically, this previous C swallowed or took inside or still assumes it's there, whatever you name it in English, uh, at the very end. So this is the result you might see in your solutions of your homework. I think it's over complicating things. I think the very first star is good. And then double star comes from the very first star. And then the second star is if you want to factor out and then distribute one quarter. Basically, sometimes you need to think what algebra to do. But I think understanding of how C collects all the possible constants and uh, we have a result with the final big C like so. This is pretty important. You will see that, well, which is funny. You will see that C... <laughs> Is, uh, tends to represent all the possible constants uh, that are results of integration. You will see that a lot in differential equations. Thank you for watching, keep practicing, and you will do amazing.
See you next time.